a common timetable where all four nations will adhere to a similar plan when the time is right will be the best way to ease lockdown measures. That is according to Wales's First Minister, Mark Drakeford. With a framework on how this will all be done set to be announced on Sunday, Cardiff waits in silence. And the majority of Brits, according to a new survey, would not like this silence to break any time soon, with 60% of respondents in an Ipsos Mori survey stating that they would feel uncomfortable carrying out regular activities such as visiting bars and restaurants or using public transport if the lockdown was eased. And despite lockdown restrictions being reviewed this week, that doesn't mean we shouldn't start to consider breaking the rules. And if you do, you may have this pooch to answer to. South Wales Police's very own PD Reggie is learning to search, so it won't take him long to catch you out on your second walk of the day. Some images now of the quiet Cardiff streets from the National Police Air Service, who have been assisting South Wales Police over the last couple of days. However, not everyone has been playing fair. Even if the streets are fairly quiet, selfish displays of disregard are unfortunately blemishing the increased level of community spirit. A shocking video was sent in to us by Councillor Joel Williams of an example of fly tipping in Old St Melons. So this, uh, in the last few days, has been dumped uh, on Bridge Road in Old St Melons. A significant amount of fly tipping. Um, what appears to be the leftovers of a cannabis factory. Uh, it's been reported to Cardiff Council and uh, we have had assurances from council officers that uh, investigative measures will take place. But despite some individuals showing little regard for their fellow Cardiffians, the feeling of community and solidarity, for the most part, has been nothing short of inspiring. From everyone at Cardiff TV, we urge you all to stay strong and stay safe.